Lamping is not every hunter's bag. If it's not part of your culture, you may even regard it as a bit lowbrow. Possibly, maybe, but it's effective when done properly, and it's harder than it looks. Tonight, Roy is out with his shooting buddy Chris and his friend Bob from the USA, who wants to remain anonymous for no other reason than he'd rather not be associated with El Lapton. Bob is a hunter but tends to go after big country deer and elk, not illuminated Charlie. To give him a head start, Chris offers him a couple of classic lamping tips. A couple of things that people find difficult to get used to whilst lamping is actually to be able to follow where the lamp is with the rifle. Quite often they will be trying to get down behind the gun and try and look for the lamp and they can't, they struggle to find it. And by that time, normally the fox that you're trying to shoot has gone. So a much easier and quicker way is to look, get down into position and actually keep your left eye open and then actually to use your, just your left eye to actually look and follow the lamp. And then when you actually want to take the shot or look through the scope, just close the left eye and you should basically be lined up with what you want to shoot. Uh, another technique that works well for some people is to actually look at the muzzle of the rifle over the top of the scope of the gun and put the muzzle on what you want to shoot or want to look at and then without moving yourself just lift the gun up into position so you go from looking over the top of the gun to just bringing the gun up the scope should now be lined up. Roy's never told us that, he's so selfish. Right, foxes. Bob gets set up on the bonnet and Roy finds a nice spot to cover the valley below. We have a customer. And thanks to Chris's top tips, Bob knocks it down. We're back up on the fields, up on the lambing fields. And we just had a, a Charlie come in on the second squeak of the night. And we're actually out tonight with an American friend of uh, Chris's who uh, wishes to remain anonymous. So uh, you're going to see him blanked out, but this is the first time that he's actually been out lamping um, and the first time he's actually been predator calling as well. We, went, we needed to come here just to try and polish off the rest of the foxes in the lambing fields and we had a perfect response there and he executed an absolutely spot on shot as well. So uh, fox came in um, far enough down into the valley that it had a perfect backstop and uh, he made a great shot on it. So we'll go and pick that one up and uh, hopefully we'll find a few more. We discover it's a female, she's in milk and is not looking in top shape. It's never a good scenario, but foxes are still killing lambs here. So unfortunately, that was a, uh, a vixen that's got cubs. Um, and it's not, not a nice thing to have to do. Um, so hopefully what we'll do is uh, we'll have a, a look around tomorrow and um, see if we can find the earth and see if we can count for the cubs as well, because it's, uh, it's not nice leaving cubs. The truth be known, this time of year, the cubs are probably on enough anyway and more than likely going to be on solids so the dog fox is uh, more than capable of feeding them but it's always nice if you do shoot a milky vixen to try hardest to try and locate the cubs and uh, dispatch them as well. <laughs> She's not exactly a pretty beast. On with our night and for the first time ever Roy's calling brings in a young badger to within a few yards. Here it is after retreating. Our next fox nearly has the better of us. He's on the move, but Bob gets his second of the night. The 243 makes a big impression. So far, we have risen above making any reference to Americans or horses, bottoms and banjos, but Roy can't help it. A little something slips out. We, we, we won't talk about American shot placement and that they, they just seem to appear to be aiming for the big middle. We won't talk about that at all, David, no. At least it gives us a reason to talk about bullet choice. OK, all right, all right let's, let's be sensible about this. With that one, the shot was a little bit far back. Um, but again, this is the good thing with the rounds that we use when we're foxing. That was a, what was that, a 55 grain ballistic tip on that one? Yeah. yeah. So that was a 55 grain ballistic tip out of a 243. And when they hit a fox, even though that was pretty far back, it is 
incredibly lethal. It's uh, over and done with. So uh, the shock, the uh, hydrostatic shock that it gives off, and just the way that the uh, the bullet performs, just makes such a mess that uh, you know, even as I say, even though it was a little bit far back off the vitals, it was uh, pretty much game over. Instant lights out. Only two foxes for us tonight, and Bob did well for a first-timer. No matter what anyone says, lamping foxes is an art, and Americans are really getting the hang of art. Now we just got to get them to like tea.